he shut the game Bumrah in the second because getting Gurbaz's wicket was so important. He was looking really good today, that first over of Arshdeep. Jeez, he creamed a few solid ones in that first over. Yeah, uh, I mean, his versatility Bumrah, as we keep saying so often, he can do everything at any time of the game. Yeah. But his decision making in that first over to go pace off and uh, well, and then he ends up, you know, varying uh, throughout his spell. Twenty dot balls and twenty-four Jeez. balls bowled. Um, but I've, uh, a question for you, Zach, if I, if you don't mind, for him to take pace off the very first over that he bowls. We talk about the need to do that, but how how tempting is it with a brand new ball, you know, opening the bowl, and whether it's first over or yeah. second over? You know, you, you don't, the ball doesn't stay brand new for long in white ball format. So how tempting is it to still go, oh, no, I know I should take, but I'm going to go up. I'm going to try and swing it here and bring it back or put a bit of pace on it. Uh, it must be a very disciplined mind to be prepared to do the big slow ball, second ball you bowl. And also that, uh, that skill set needs to be practiced enough. You know, so if you're bowling it with a new ball, it's not an easy uh, thing to achieve, mm. isn't it? Because the ball skids on. And that's why if you see the line which he bowled to Gurbaz was way outside. Yeah, he took him out. Uh, so, so that is something which maybe he was thinking that Gurbaz is going to be predominantly onside uh, batter. He will look to take that and he, he planned it that way. Mm. Uh, the thing about Bumrah is that he, he likes to bowl a lot in the nets for him to feel comfortable. So, so his strength lies in uh, in his work ethics as well. Yeah. Uh, he's also a big data guy. Like you know, he will play the game uh, in his head a night before, uh, in terms of knowing his options, uh, knowing which batters, uh, which areas, the strengths, the weaknesses. You know, the yeah. whole lot uh, as a process which he goes, and uh, and then having that control to be able to execute that. Mm. Uh, so it's all a package which he puts it together very nicely. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the reason he's so consistent. Yeah. Is, is, he, is he one of the most, if not the most, adaptable, malleable bowler when it comes to conditions and taking advantage of conditions? Because I was reading a very interesting tweet where they said, you take him tomorrow to England, give him a Duke's ball and he's going to pitch it up and try to get swing. <laughs> you send him to Australia, he'll pull the length back day after tomorrow and come back to West Indies. So maybe that's adding on to your point, which is he attempted to bowl that way, yeah. but he knows the conditions, he knows the pitch and he'll adapt to it immediately. So he's, he's also a little bit stubborn as well. He is, is he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah, because he's thinking like about the Like all geniuses? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and there is nothing wrong in that. Like, yeah, you know, because yeah. you're just so assured that you know exactly what you want to do, what you want to achieve, and you've thought through it. Uh, thought through it. So you know, it's it's. Uh, I always tease him, you know, with uh, with bowling more uh, bouncers. Yeah. Uh, sometimes me and Yuvraj, when uh, we, we were in that season of IPL, we would purposely do that. No, no, Bumrah is not going to bowl bouncers. And then you, you will say, yeah, I don't think he's going to bowl. Oh, bouncers. reverse psychology. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> just to get him going on that. That no, I can bowl bounces. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the the point is that he's so thorough with his uh, planning, preparation, understanding of his own uh, bowling. And then planning his uh, his bowling or or options planning uh, with regard to the batters which he'll be playing, with regard to the conditions he'll be bowling under. Uh, so you know all those things at times uh, with that assurance makes you a little stubborn, which is not a bad thing. I he's, love he's un he's under use of the bouncer. It, it yeah. is something that would annoy you so much as a batter. Yeah. When you know a guy's got that in the artillery, a quick bouncer and it doesn't come, and the next ball it doesn't come, and you're still hanging back, oh, and it just doesn't turn up. Yeah. And then either it comes and it surprises you, or it never, and, and you just sort of don't quite get to a, a front foot stroke. But yeah, it plays mind games. I think, yeah, he and Pat Cummins, I think, are the two most versatile mm. fast bowlers in all different conditions. But I think, I think Boomer's there, mm. and Pat's there, and then there's a group below, but uh, yeah, I think he's the most versatile.